What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our second video. Uh, this is going to be our uh, second tips and tricks video. I'm Dr. Death. And I'm Dr. Kills. And uh, yeah, big boy is coming at us. So anyway, we got some uh, new stuff for you today. And I'm going to leave it to Dr. Uh, Kills here for a moment to, you know, show you some new tips. So I just wanted to show you guys the tips on your keyboard on how to do different things. So if you wanted to like change your outfit, you can hit O and it will just change your outfit until you find something that you want to match your whatever. And also you can hit left alt and turn your screen around. Sorry and you can that. like look at your person. It's okay. And yeah, you can do that. Nice. Good tips. So um O for changing your outfit. Cool. And then and also you can hit yourself. P to dance if you wanted to do that. Nice. All right, some new shortcuts. That's awesome. Okay, so now let's uh, get into some placement stuff. As you can see, I finally got my door that I was uh, so interested in before. I actually, we've actually been playing, as you can tell. You know, we played through a little bit, collected some things, so this wouldn't be so boring. Um, we got a whole bunch of stuff collected now, and now we can actually show you how to do some things. So, you know, obviously. The door I got, um, I just picked it up. You can place it. Well, I can't place it now because the zombie is there. Great. So when the zombie unspawns, I can actually do this. But anyway, for now, we'll carry on. So as you can see, I've got an apartment full of stuff now. I guess we'll start over here. I've got the... Uh, weapon rack which is pretty much self-explanatory you know right now it's full i even found a suppressor which is crazy for the you know first part of the game you hardly ever find suppressors this early um i got my ammo boxes set up also found those this is where i'm storing my magazines but since i've run out of space on the weapons rack um i've got all these weapons that i'm starting to collect and i don't have any other room for them anywhere and I don't want to put them in boxes so this is something I wanted to show you you can pick up your guns and if you point at a certain spot on the wall with your little white cursor dot there you can just go to your equipment and click set down and it'll place it on the wall and you can pretty much do that with anything let me go up to my bedroom area here. So like I have this backpack here. Oh, I don't have any space for it. Hmm. Let me just throw this door down for a minute. So you pick that up and say I want to put that on the wall. You just do the same thing. Click set down and it puts it on the wall. And you can also use that as storage on the wall. So yeah, that's a uh, one cool thing to do there with um, placing items. And I wish those zombies would despawn. They take a long while to despawn. Yeah. So, you know, it's pretty much the same thing with other items that you get. Like I've got, I've collected the computer set. You just place them where you want them. Just get all of this. So I brought this desk in to set up my computer and everything on. So I'll have a uh, nice view of Dr. Kill's place over there while I'm working at my computer. And yeah, I wish they had a mouse pad. That'd be nice, huh? Yep. 
All right, all set on that. So um, let's see, the other thing um, we wanted to go over was uh, placing stuff into the uh, crafting table. So I know a lot of, there's been a lot of questions I've seen of people wondering how you do this stuff. So like in the workbench, you have all of these things that you can craft. Oh, I, I forgot I didn't have a door. Stupid zombies are getting in here. Okay, good. They're gone now. So let me go grab that door. <laughs> Kills, what are you doing right now? I am just organizing my chests, I guess. <laughs> I gotcha. All right, here's how you put your door up. So you click place, put it in your door frame, and there you go. All set. Hopefully we won't have that problem again. All right, anyway, as I was saying, so you have all these things in here, and as you can see, like for an anvil, uh, the recipe cost is uh, 50 metal, and you need one hammer to uh, do that. So basically what you have to do is go over here to tool chest and grab the hammer, and then grab some metal, Put this all in here, and then you can click craft, and it'll craft it. I'm not going to do it right now because I already have an anvil. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you how that works. But uh, normally, I just keep all of these items stored, uh, except for the cloth. The cloth is used for the sewing machine, which you can make um, clothing and things like that. But those are coming soon, so we don't have that ability yet. Okay, so I'm going to grab all this stuff and just throw it in here. And by the way, I'm holding control and clicking to uh, just put everything in here quickly. Uh, in case you didn't know about that. Not sure if we mentioned that in our last video. Yeah, so that's basically how to do that. So yeah, I got all this metal laying here. I'm just going to throw that into the anvil because pretty much everything that you make in there requires metal. I just came across the ghost. Oh yeah, uh, so we've got the new updated Halloween version which has ghosts and stuff in it, which is pretty cool. Kills has actually run into a couple of them already. Uh, let's see. So in the workbench, you have the option to make this mortar and pestle. This is actually for making gunpowder, and you're going to need it if you're going to make uh, gunpowder for your, you know, bullet press. I mean, you can find gunpowder in the world, sure, but, you know, it's really easy to make it if you just come over here to this and craft one, and then you can make your own. What's next? Uh, did you want to cover loading and unloading weapons, or do you want me to go over that? Uh, you can go over that. Okay. All right. So let me see if I have the right ammo for anything. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, there's the M4. Okay, I keep clicking on the wrong box. So, in order to load a weapon, what you have to do is you have to find the correct ammo that goes in the correct cartridge, obviously. It'll tell you here it's 5.56 five, uh, ammo. And then you go over here and make sure that it's the same, right? 
and then you just put it in your cartridge. Now you have to take that cartridge and put it on your weapon. Okay, so now you see it has four of 60. So if you had enough, you could fill it up, obviously. Um, but to unload, you have to right click and actually you have to equip it. And then click on attachments and then you can take that out or put a new one in. You also have the ability to put a sight and a muzzle on it. So yeah, it's a little complicated how you do that, but then you can just drag that back over. It's not a uh, very intuitive as to how you load and unload, especially unload weapons. But um, that's how you do that. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with um, everything that I wanted to cover. Do you have anything else you wanted to add, Kills? Um, I think that's all that I have to cover. Okay. I'll pull this out, put it back in here. You can actually unload cartridges by right clicking. And as you saw, I can, you know, unload it take the bullets out if I need to and put it into something else. Like if you find a bigger magazine or something. Oh yeah, there was some other things I wanted to cover too. So like for instance, up here, like I've got all these little toys that I've found along the way. I'm going to pick these guys up. And you find these shelves here and there, and they have the bigger ones that have like the squares and they're like really huge and white. Um, but anyway, what you could do is again, point your little white cursor on the shelf. And if you right click, or well, with this one, you can place, but some of them don't do that. Now, actually, all of the toys do that, don't they? Yep, they do. I forgot that you're able to place them. Either way, you come across something that you want to just set down, you point your cursor and do it that way. Oh, uh, I just found a hot dog cart. Oh, that's awesome. On a zombie. <laughs> so show them how the hot dog cart works. All right. Just give me a moment to get home. Actually, set that out in the middle of the street, so maybe both of... I don't know if both of us can use it or if it's just for you. But anyway, put that out in the middle. Like I'm just going to put it right here. I'll put it next to this thing. Okay, that works. Are you able to use it? Yep, sure can. Yeah, you can just hit F and it fills up your um, food bar all the way. Oh, and I also have a water cooler. Oh, cool. Yeah, I was just about to say that's what happens with the water cooler. You can actually put that out and um, drink and it'll fill your water bar. So awesome. You found them both. Cool beans. Or hot dogs. Alright, let me go back in here and um, finish what I was doing. So, the reason I have my masks and the helmets all laid out right now is because I want to get one of those... Um, shelf things that I can put out and set them on. Kind of like this, but it's larger, like I was saying. But yeah, this guitar, you can use it as a weapon and, uh, you know, fight like a rock star. But um, 
what I like to do is put it on the wall. So yeah, it makes a cool decoration. And this is a metal platform that I found, which I set down here. Um, I didn't really have any place else to put it, so I set it here. But um, it's part of what you can use to build with. And we'll get into building later. But for right now, we're just kind of showing you basics. Because I know, like I said, some of this stuff is not as intuitive as it should be. All right, I think I've covered pretty much everything. Uh, we were going to go over key locations, like where to find keys in this episode. But I think we're going to save that for another one because we're actually going to go over trader locations. And what was the other thing you wanted to mention, Kills? I think it was just the cargo ticket and how that works. Oh yeah, the cargo tickets, exactly. Okay, yeah, we'll do all that in our next episode. Um, so yeah, the uh, base is coming together. We're getting things set up. I'm actually going to post on the screen here in a minute what my single player base looks like. And uh, I've actually got it set up pretty nicely. And Kills has got a nice one too. I'll actually post one of his as well. If I can get him to shoot me over a screenshot. But, um, yeah, I guess Kills has locked me out. I'm going to head home. It's starting to get dark, so I guess we're going to end the episode here. But, um,. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you learned some things. Uh, if you have any other questions about anything or if you would like us to cover anything in the videos, uh, just leave us a comment, let us know, and uh, we'll certainly do that. Anyway, I'm Dr. Death and uh, thanks for stopping by. I'm Dr. Kills and we'll see you guys later. All right, you guys take care.